Tonight, new information about the driver who crashed into the emergency room at St. David's North Austin yesterday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nabil Ramadna. Britt and Daniel have the night off. The driver died and five others were injured, according to first responders. Austin police identified the driver as a 57-year-old woman. As KXAN Sarah Alshai explains, police do not believe the crash was intentional nor caused by a medical condition. Sights, blood, and just glass. Everyone was covered in glass. Sounds. Oh. An incredibly loud roaring engine sound. And then you heard screaming. And smells Michelle Cruz says she'll never forget. Then you started smelling like the burnt rubber. The smell like lingered. Cruz and her mother were there when a car crashed into the St. David's North Austin Medical Center emergency room Tuesday evening. At least 20 people. At bare minimum, there could have been more, but at least 20 people. The Austin Police Department says it responded to the crash a little after 5.30 p.m. The driver of the car died and five others were injured, two of them children. APD identified the driver as 57-year-old Michelle Holloway. There is no indication at this time that this is an intentional act nor does it indicate that the driver suffered from a medical episode. APD says this is still under investigation and information could change. Hospital officials say several staff sprang into action tending to injuries. Think about superheroes. That's those are superheroes. Just did everything they can amidst so much chaos. A woman who works at the hospital told KXAN she was among those people. I ran back into the ER just to see if I could help because I figured there were probably a lot of people that hurt. The whole experience was a lot for Cruz to take in. I'm just thankful that like it's over. So she's focused on taking care of her mental health as she processes this. Mental images and the sounds are going to be a lot, but I think I can work through like what actually happened and knowing that like it's not going to happen again. And like we're all safe as Sarah Olshek, KXAN News. Hospital officials say they've resumed operations and are hoping to open the north entrance where this happened this afternoon.